Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some amazing things that your iPhone can do and you probably never knew about. These are features that most iPhone users don't know their iPhone has and probably never thought that these things are possible on their iPhone. Now, these are of course very cool and very useful at the same time. Another very, very useful thing is of course the like button of this video. That helps the channel a lot and of course helps this video do much, much better. So make sure you leave a like on the video. All right, first of all, we're starting with the Shortcuts app. Now, I probably have to call this the Shortcuts Edition because most of the things that I will do will be done through Shortcuts. Now, a cool thing is that when someone asks you for the passcode of your Wi-Fi network, whether that be your home or maybe your office or your business, you can do that with your iPhone pretty easily without actually having to tell them the passcode. You don't want to give away your passcode. You still want to allow someone to access your network. You can do that fairly easy. Just launch the shortcuts app and just download this shortcut that I will leave right down below on the pinned comment. Once you have done that, you tap to generate the Wi-Fi QR code. What you can do here is just choose current network and it will do it for the current network that you're connected on or you can type the network name right here. So let's just go with that. And once you have done that, you tap done and then you go ahead and enter the passcode of that network. So let's just enter the passcode here. Of course, you have to enter the real passcode. And once that's done, you can see right here, it will generate this QR code. Now you can just tap right there on the share button and tap on save image and you can just tell someone basically just to scan this qr code which of course you have on your photos library now and they will be able to automatically connect your wi-fi network without having to enter a passcode now shortcuts on ios or maybe underrated they can do a lot and a pretty cool thing that you can do is have your favorite contacts on your home screen whether you want to call them or message them, you can do that directly from the home screen through shortcuts. Now, here's an example of what you can do. Let's tap the plus button and let's just choose here, send message. So here we have send message and we can go ahead and select any of our contacts here. So you do that, of course, for your contact. So once you have chosen your contact, you tap the dumb button. You can also choose multiple contacts if you want to. So once you have done that, you're good to go. And what you can do here is just go ahead and tap the next button. And this is pretty cool right here. You can enter their name. So let's just try that. So here is the name and now we tap done. Now we have created this shortcut. Now we tap the three dots right there, share it, and we can add it to the home screen. Now the cool thing here is that if you actually tap right here, you can add their picture and that will display as an icon on the home screen of your device. So just choose the picture here. So once you choose their picture from the photo library, you tap right here, of course, you can crop it. You tap choose and you tap add and you're good to go. Tap done here, of course. And now when we go to the home screen, you can see I have that contact right here, their name and their picture right here on the home screen. I want to message them, just tap right there and I can go ahead and just type the message directly from here. So just type something and click done and you're good to go. This is how easily you can send a message. Now, of course, this failed to send because that's not a real phone number. But once you do that with your real contacts, it will be good to go. Next up, I will show you guys how to get an amazing 3D look on the home screen of your iPhone. This is actually very, very cool. You just need to follow a few simple steps. The first thing you want to do is, of course, visit this website, which I will leave linked right down below in the pinned comment. Big shout out to the creator of, of course, this shortcut and everything else here. I will leave also his Twitter down below. So make sure you go ahead and follow him. So the first thing you want to do is download the shortcut, of course, add it to your shortcuts app. So just swipe like this here until the end and just tap to add the shortcuts. So let's just go ahead and do that real quick here. Here we go. Tap add untrusted shortcut. You will have now the shortcut here. And now what you need to do is go ahead and tap download 
shadow pad. So there are a few simple steps here you need to follow. First of all, choose the device that you have. So in this case, we're gonna choose 12 Pro Max here and it will download, you will have it right there. So just tap download, it will show right there. Just tap right there and see once it's done, all you gotta do is just tap to open it. So let's just wait for this to download. Once it is downloaded, all you gotta do is just tap on it. Of course, it will take you to the folder where you have it saved and just tap to unzip it. And now from here, what you need to do is actually move it to the iCloud section on the shortcuts folder. So the easiest way to do that is of course, just maybe move it or just copy it. So you can also copy it from here and just go back, go to iCloud Drive, found the shortcuts app, the short shortcuts folder actually and just make sure you paste it right here and i already have it so i will just replace it and right here will have everything that you need so let's go back from here so once it is pasted right here we will be good to go and we can create our 3d home screen looks so it is done now and we have everything we need right here so now what you need to do is go to shortcuts and tap right here on the home screen creator to actually create the 3D look on the home screen. You again, choose your device from here and you have here a couple of options. Of course, you can select your wallpaper. So click OK and select the wallpaper from the photo library of your iPhone. Once you have selected the wallpaper, you can choose whether you wanna hide the notch, add like a card just around the icons and a dock as well or just a card or just dismiss this if you don't want to do it it will show you a preview of your wallpaper you click done right here and now you can go ahead and tap ok here and just select any of the shadows from here now if you go back right there you have depth you have far long depth you have rise and short so let's just go with long depth from here and you will have a few like different setups of course you can choose these based on the setup that you have on the home screen now i will choose this one because this is the setup that i have on the home screen of my device and i can also add this like background to the dock so i will choose yes here with the dark mode and choose okay right here and now you can see it will show actually a preview of how the wallpaper looks you can see it right here it is done so tap done and now from here save it to photos this is the easiest way so make sure you save it to photos and once you have done that you will have it of course right here on the home screen, on the app library it's, so go ahead and tap use this wallpaper and just make sure you pinch out like this tap set set on home screen and you can see now when we go to the home screen how cool that looks you can see the depth look right there it looks just amazing and gives your home screen a whole new look which makes it look very very different from other devices next up i will show you guys how to set wallpapers on the home screen and lock screen or either one of them based on the battery percentage that you have on your iphone so for this video what i've done i've chosen three different wallpapers so you can see right here i have a red one for when the battery drops lower than 20 percent and then i have when it's at 50 actually a blue one and the green one once the battery charges at 100 so everything here will be done automatically now the first thing you want to do is actually select your wallpapers that you want to use maybe you want to do for every 10 percent a different wallpaper or for whatever you want to do you choose them and you go to your photos actually and just create albums for each of them so i have created one for 20 percent 50 and 100 percent this is will be the more simple way to do this it is another way that you can do this through the files app but this is easier so just create like four or five how many wallpapers you want to use albums and put each wallpaper into a separate album and then go to your shortcuts app and from here what you need to do is actually create a shortcut so all you gotta do is just choose search for photos and what you gotta do here is just choose here find photos tap on add filter and tap where it says recent and choose the the album that you have created so in this case we will choose let's say 20 percent here and what you want to do here is tap the plus button and search for wallpaper and here we go tap right here and disable that and of course you can enable or disable their perspective zoom tap next enter the name here so let's just go with 20 
and we're good to go. Go to automations, tap on create personal automation, and right here, go to battery level. So you can see right here, we have three different options. We have equals, rises above, or falls below. So we go to falls below, and we will choose here 20%. So now when the battery falls under 20%, it will automatically apply that red wallpaper. Tap on add action, and just search here for shortcut, so here we have our own shortcut, tap right there and choose the shortcut we just created. Tap next, disable this so it doesn't ask us, tap done and now you're good to go. Whenever the battery falls below 20%, it will automatically apply that wallpaper. And last but not least, I will show you guys a very useful automation that you can easily create on your device. You go to shortcuts, automations, tap the plus button and this is one that I actually use for my AirPods Pro because I don't wanna have the volume set like at 100% when I actually connect my AirPods. So what I wanna do is tap on create personal automation and then find Bluetooth. Choose the device right here. So here I have my AirPods Pro and what I wanna do here is make sure that whenever I connect my AirPods Pro to my iPhone, I have the volume set at certain percentage and also open the app that I use for music. So I go to next here, tap on add action and search for set volume. Once you find set volume, tap right here, you can choose the percentage of volume. So let's say we want 62%, tap on next and we're good to go. But what we can do here is also go back and tap the plus button and choose here, scripting open app. And let's just choose here Spotify, which I use for music. So here we have Spotify. Now here's what we have created. When I connect to AirPods Pro, basically the, uh, the volume will be set automatically at 62% and it will open Spotify. That is really cool. Tap the dumb button and we're good to go. So that is it for this video guys. These are some amazing things that you can do on your iPhone and you probably didn't even know about. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys on the next one.